In this problem, we're told a well-thrown ball is caught in a well-padded mitt. If the deceleration of the ball is 2.1 times 10 to the 4 meters per second squared and 1.85 milliseconds, 1 millisecond equals 10 to the minus 3 seconds, elapses from the time the ball first touches the mitt until it stops, what is the initial velocity of the ball? Right, so the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on. So we have this ball, right? It's going to have some initial velocity, and that's what we're trying to solve for. Right, it's going to be thrown into this mitt, right? And it's going to decelerate, right? So its acceleration is going to be negative 2.1 times 10 to the 4 meters per second squared, right? Because deceleration is just negative acceleration, right? So negative uh, whatever value, right? Which they give us 2.1 times 10 to the 4 meters per second squared, right? So it's going to decelerate, and it's going to take 1.85 meters per second, or not meters per second, milliseconds, right? So 1.85 milliseconds for it to go to zero uh, meters per second, right? For it to stop and emit and not move. Right, so that's the information we're given. And so how are we going to solve for this? So the way we're going to solve for it is by using uh, one of the kinematic equations. Right, so the next step you always want to do is just write down the given. So we want to write out all the information we're given. So we're solving for the initial velocity. So we'll, be, we'll say uh, v sub 0 equals question mark, because that's what we're trying to find. We know the final velocity is equal to 0. Right, we know the acceleration is negative 2.1 times 10 to the 4 meters per second squared. And then we know t is 1.85 milliseconds. So if you look at the kinematic, uh, kinematic equations here, notice that if we use uh, the first one, v equals v sub 0 plus a times t, if we plug in a, we plug in t, and we plug in 0, what we can do is solve for v sub 0, right? Because it's going to be the only variable left, so we can just go ahead and solve for it. But keep in mind, notice this is in seconds, right? These are in seconds. So this needs to be converted from milliseconds into seconds. Right, and so essentially there's a thousand milliseconds for every second. So you can just divide the number by uh, 1,000 and that's going to convert it. So it's basically just equal to uh, 1.85 divided by 1,000, which is 0 0.00185. Right, and if you move this to the right, 3, 1, 2, 3, it's 1.85 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds. So yeah, this is going to be the time. And so now we have it in the correct units, so we can just plug in. So V equals v sub 0 plus a times t. So v is 0, right, the final velocity, is equal to the initial velocity, which is what we're solving for, plus the acceleration, which is minus 2.1 times 10 to the 4 times uh, t, right? And so t is 1.85 times 10 to the minus 3. And so what we can do is move this to the other side, minus v sub 0 from both sides. Minus v sub 0 is equal to minus 2.1 times 10 to the 4. And then multiply that by 1.85 times 10 to the minus 3. And so notice the minus signs are going to cancel, right? And so you're just going to have v sub 0 equals 2.1 times 10 to the 4 times 1.85 times 10 to the minus 3. So when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get uh, v sub 0 is equal to about 38.9. And then the units we measure velocity, it's uh, meters per second. So 38.9 meters per second, that's going to be the initial velocity of the ball. So this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.